Today, there is a trend multiplayer for the Aston Martin Vantage V12 2022. We can finally get a chance to test the car without a forced overclock. Today, I'll share my opinion about this car. With no more delay, let's get into it. The Aston Martin Vintage is a high-end Class D car with a rank of 2,968. I've seen some players think this car is good, but in my opinion, it's not actually like this. First, talking about the top speed. Not gonna lie, this car is quite fast. With Nitro, it can reach to 345 km per hour, which is only 7 km per hour slower than the fastest Class D car. As a Class D car, I think this top speed is kind of acceptable, as it is currently the fastest 5 star Class D car. For the acceleration, I will say it's mediocre. The acceleration of this car is around 75 points, but I think it is actually higher than what it has shown, but still, it is just mediocre, and because of this, it can't become a king in classic multiplayer. However, this is not the main problem to destroy this car. In fact, the fatal flaw of this car is the handling. As the stats shown, the handling only got 39 points. To be honest, this car feels a little bit stiff while driving. It can't really process with the curve smoothly. The drifting of this car is extremely terrible also. It will lose speed quickly while drifting and easily go under 200 km per hour. Due to the mediocre acceleration, it can accelerate back to the top speed within a short time after a long drift. Although I haven't driven this car on the 270 curve yet, I can imagine that this car will surely go hell. For real, since other Class D cars have an overall OK reach handling, this car is relatively bad in terms of this. Overall, this car has a fast top speed, but with mediocre acceleration, bad handling, and short nitro. Because of this, the top speed can't really make up for it. I would say this car is somehow worse than the Terry Algorith, although the acceleration of Austin Martin Vintage V12 2022 is faster, other stars are worse than Terry Algorith. Please also note that Terry Algorith is easier to be obtained through FNs and Legend Store, but the Austin Martin Vintage itself can only be obtained through its Grand Prix as for now. To max this car, it will be more expensive than the Terry R. So, my advice is don't spend too much resources on this car, since it's not really that wealthy. Anyway, those I want to share, and now it's your turn. What do you think about the Aston Martin Vintage V12 2022? Will you try to unlock this car? Comment your thoughts below. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like and subscribe, and hopefully, I will see you with more S19 content.